Dati Baba Ahmad react to his brother Hakim's appointment as Shatima Special Advisor. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Labour Party Vice Presidential Candidate in the February 25th elections, Dati Baba Ahmed, has stated that he is not bothered about his brother, Hakim Baba Ahmed's appointment as Special Advisor on Political Matters to Vice President Kashim Shetima. Dati discloses in an interview with the Rice Television, he stated that his opposition is not targeted towards the government appointment, rather his opposition is specifically directed at the president and vice president themselves. He also said that Akim is his elder brother and therefore entitled to his own rights and life choices. He further emphasized that their political stances are completely different. And that is words. I am after, he said and I quote, I am after the, appoint the government. I am not after appointment. I am after the president and the vice president. I cannot come down to speak about any appointment. Hakim is by far my elder brother, so there is no better way to say he's an adult or he has his own right or his own life to live. Our politics are completely detached. It is his boss, I know, not him. Taking my senior brother to give an appointment is the least of my worries. I am not worried about any appointment. If he likes, he can go and take the entire Baba Ahmed and make them ministers. I do not mind. Exactly. You, you, your brothers, they have their own life to live. People who come out and they're saying it is wrong. And I'm asking, how is it wrong? To me, so far he goes there and he speaks the truth to power. You understand? He goes there and he speaks truth to power. To me, that is the that's the main thing. He goes there and he actually uses that office he he's actually going to be in. And he speaks truth to power. He comes out and says the truth. That is all that matters here. Not any other thing. Do you understand? Any other thing they're talking about does not matter. So yes, and truly, just like he said, it is the office of the president and the vice president that people knows. Hmm? No matter what happens, no matter who is anywhere, no matter who is the minister, who is the governor, the thing is, now actually those two people, they always, they are the ones that are the receiving point of, you know, whatever they are going to, or whatever is going to happen. If country do well, you know, they are, they receive the praises. If country no do well, they actually receive the blame. Huh? Make them carry this man, go hospital. I should say this man no well. Over what now? Huh. I thank God this guy never happened to Nigeria just like his empty partner. Are you really serious? <laughs> Why? Then give this one brother appointment. What, what do you expect him to say? To me, what he said is okay. In my own opinion, like we see, if somebody is a king in a community, let's use that scenario. If somebody is actually a king in a community, whether his brother and sisters are princes or whatever, it's none of anybody's business. So. Do you understand? He wields the most power. Do you understand? Whatever his people does to me, he does not. Now, what thing king do? Now, then they talk about. Do you understand? Whether in income now, come and make a, the chiefs now. What, what he now makes people the chiefs and the last time is behaving to me. If they misbehave, now king then no. Am I making sense? That is just it. He is far better than Escobar and Osama bin Laden, criminal supporting evil. Myopic because he's not from your tribe and he spoke the truth. You want to force him to support his brother's appointment. That means you are very myopic and lacks good reasoning. He spoke rightly because you are not wise. Any adult has the right to make decisions to suit them. And you cannot force another adult to accept or agree with you. Exactly. And what he's trying to say is that not just any person, his brother. And it is okay. Remember when this man got his appointment, people were like, oh... Why will he accept the And I was like, to me, there is absolutely nothing wrong. In fact, I feel they will let me them put everybody. Let them put anybody they want to put. Thing is, when you go there, you use that particular office 
to speak your truth to power. You use that particular office to your own advantage. Your own advantage, I mean, make sure that truth that you are speaking that made people to you know look at you with so much honor, with so much respect. What happens? So much honor, so much respect. What happens? So much honor, so much respect. You should actually what? You should continue on it. You should don't go there and you know you are going to start changing. Let me use the word changing or you know stop speaking truth to power. Somebody like him, um, like what Femi Adishina did, he went into government and he started saying whatever his, you know, whatever his administration was doing was okay. Till he left, no, we don't want that kind of a person. And this is the type of VP they wanted to foist on us. We dodged the bullet with this overhyped guy. I think you should beg that for free education because you don't you don't have one yourself. We can I leave that here alone and make can I leave this I don't want what they wanted him to say, but to me what he said is absolutely there's nothing wrong. You go there, you use that particular you shine. If you feel you're light, you shine with that particular behavior. Whatever, like let me say, who do I use now? Let's say now Omoyele Somori was given an appointment today. What is going to make and he goes and, and accept the appointment? Of course, nothing concerned me with whatever. But then it's his attitude in that particular office. Does he still, will he still come out and be speaking the truth to power the way he was speaking before he went there? That is what we want. In fact, we feel it is a good thing because he will not have the opportunity, all those things he was saying that he would have done if he was the president. Hmm? When it gets to that his small office, he will start from that his small office and start showing that, oh, this thing that I said I would do, I would do it. The thing that is, that the ones that are okay. Your brother is a smart man. I wish you leave him to represent your family in southern Nigeria. And if tomorrow you jumped over to another ruling party, don't say rubbish like you did against Osobanjo and Rotimi Amichi. Baba might has mouth to feed though, okay? That he has lost has pity him and don't vilify him. That is better. Policy should be for people of the people. By the people. Exactly. This one is the, the most. I resonate with this one very well. Hmm? It should be for people by the people. No matter how you, Obi and Rafai, try to bring down this government, you will fail and Tony will succeed as no other president has succeeded in this nation to your internal shame. Really, no other president has succeeded. <laughs> And you, the present situation, Nigeria found itself in success for the president. Um, your brain needs to be washed with hypo to get it back to normal. Make everybody take a chill pill. All we want is somebody who will go in and disposition. That thing that makes people see you and voted for you. You understand? We are not change. You are not going to come to and start behaving like another person. Alright, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling you to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.